have three functions. I'm just spot checking to see if any of them are roots or if any of them are fractions, and they're not. So just remember, for all of this, the domain is not going to have any restrictions. So it's just going to be positive to negative infinity. All right. So we're going to add functions f and g. So all we're going to do is write f, which is x squared minus 2x, plus g, which is 3x minus 4. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, good job, y'all. You let me know anytime there's weird anything weird going on there. All right, 3x minus 4. And guys, just combine my terms. Y'all know adding. You just put them together. There's no x squared term that I can combine. So it's just going to be x squared plus x minus 4. And then that's it. We're going to leave it in terms of x. I know that because that symbol is there. So remember, um, don't factor. I know that we're so tuned in and locked into like factor and stuff, but remember, you only factor if you're taking a factor drill or if you're solving. We're not doing either one of those, so we're going to leave it just like that. All right, let's go ahead and subtract. We're going to subtract these two. So it is going to start out with f one more time. So x squared minus 2x minus... And then, of course, I'm going to drop H in the parentheses. And guys, remember, we are going to distribute a negative here. So this is going to turn into X squared minus 2X and then plus 2X squared and then minus 1. And then again, just combine like terms. So we're going to have a coefficient of 3 for that quadratic term, and then minus 2x, and then minus 1. And that's it. So I do know that you guys did a little bit of this early in Algebra 2. So this should be just a review. It should be kind of all coming back to you. Let's level up a little bit. So now we're going to take both of these, and we are going to multiply them and divide them. And I did not write this down, guys. So A was add, B was subtract. What did C say in your packet? F and G? Okay, thank you. And we're going to leave it in terms of X. And remember, parentheses are our friends in higher level math. So we're just going to set both of these in parentheses. And we are going to be foiling this stuff out. And we are going to leave it in terms of x because that tells me to leave it in terms of x. Okay, let's foil. Okay, so it looks like we just need to combine the two middle terms. So that's going to be a negative 4x squared minus a 6x squared. So we're going to have 3x to the third minus 10x squared plus 8x. And again, guys, just a reminder, the domain here was negative to positive infinity. Okay, so I did not write letter D. What does letter D say? H over which one? All right, here we go, guys. H over F, and we're going to leave this in terms of X. Okay, so just remember the denominator cannot equal zero. Let's see what this ends up looking like. So I'm going to draw a fraction bar. We're going to put h on the top, which is negative 2x squared plus 1. Okay, and then f is over there at the beginning of my paper, so this is going to be x squared minus 2x. Okay, so again, one more time, bless you. What can this not equal? Zero. All right, y'all, we have to solve. We have to figure out what this cannot equal. 
So I'm going to write x squared minus 2x cannot equal 0. And look, I wrote the letter x more than once. I have to factor. If it's written more than once, I have to factor. So let's go ahead and solve. Take that x out of both of those terms. Okay, so there's two things that x cannot equal. This single x cannot equal 0. Look in the parentheses. What cannot x not be in the parentheses? Very good. So it cannot equal 0, and it cannot equal 2. Two restrictions, three pieces to the interval notation. Interval notation always has one more than. One more than two is going to be three pieces. So here's what my interval notation is going to look like. We're just going to start with negative infinity, wrap it up to the lowest restriction, which is zero. Pick right back up where we left off. Go to the next restriction, which is two. Pick right back up where we left off and take it all the way to positive infinity. Okay, let's talk about this fraction. It's division, but guys, it's, it's a fraction. I am going to rewrite this down here, and I'm going to go ahead and write the factored form. Because usually when we factor stuff, it's easier to see what would simplify and what would cancel out. So if you notice, y'all, there's nothing that cancels out. None of this down here cancels out any of this up here. Also, look, y'all, even though they both say 2x, you cannot cancel those out. They don't have the same exponent, and they're both tied to a plus and a minus sign. You can never cancel out something that's tied to a plus or minus sign. So that's it. Let's box it in, because that's the answer. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and just get this rolling here.